So, this is gonna be basically just a game of reading and making choices to try to create. Let me just turn the brightness up for me. Try to create a socialist country out of America, basically, is this simulation game. Um, so let's give it a go. Uh, welcome to the Democratic Socialism Simulator. Sure. She simulates the challenges that a socialist or social democratic government might face in the USA. You play as the President of the United States and the coalition behind him, her, or them. Shout out to they, them presidents. <laughs> this message will offer you semi-random proposals with two choices like this one. Some messages won't require any choice on your part, like this one, just swipe either way. In the screen below, you'll see a model of the electorate. It's a collection of virtual voters. Voters are positioned according to their approval. The closest ones will vote for you in the next elections. Each virtual voter has two top priorities. A choice might alienate some voters and attract others. Drag left and right to preview the effects. Okay, so those people lives matter. Those people like or dislike Black Lives Matter. Okay, you can click on the individual voters to check their top issues and their approval. I'm a virtual voter and I'm glad to see some positive change. My priorities are welfare, public services, health care, poverty relief, environmentalism, conservation, sustainability. I'm a virtual voter and I know leaders are doing their best. My top priorities are attaining immigration, nationalism, white supremacy, workers' rights, job creation, unionization. Okay. Uh, I'm a virtual voter and this is not my president. My priorities are economic growth, free market, entrepreneurship, tax cuts, small government, government austerity. Okay. So they're all over the map. Many policies require funding. The yellow bar indicates your current budget surplus. It can go negative too. Okay. Spend more money. The central bar represents the people's power. Right now it's empty. That's the problem you are trying to solve. Okay. The gray bar represents the greenhouse gas emissions in the USA. Your goal is to reduce them to zero. Well, they are full right now, so that's not good. Some radical reforms require a certain majority in Congress. The icon here indicates the minimum level of support you need. Oh, I'm blocking it with my my camera's blocking it. Let me see if I can move. See if I can move me. Uh, let me move me. I will sit. I'll sit up top today. Yeah. So okay. So that's the okay. I will sit up top today, and there now you can see the Congress control meter. You can gain or lose Congress support at each election or due to major events. As a president, you can only be re-elected once and elections will occur halfway through each of your terms. That's it more or less. Swipe left, swipe right, swipe right, pave the road to socialism and such. Oh, and don't get demoralized if you fail. It may just be a bug in the simulator or plain bad luck. Ready? Okay, I guess we're ready. And my I realize my camera's blocking that one also. That's okay. I'm gonna be reading the things anyway. Congratulations. This is your first day as president. Have you chosen a theme for your inauguration speech? Okay, so the one on the left says hope, and the one on the right says political revolution. Um, okay, if we pick hope, they all like it. They all move forward. We pick political revolution. Uh, some people like it and some people. So we'll start with hope. Generic. How would you like your inauguration ceremony to be? Lavish. Some people like it, some people don't. Humble. It brings those people forward. I think humble is always good. Wonderful ceremony. Moving speech. Now we have to start working. So many proposals, so little time, says the Democrat. What about a 70% tax on earnings above 10 million? That's what we used to do in the 70s. Woe too much makes some people 
uh, happy, and tax the rich makes them unhappy, but the rest of the people stay the same. But I want to tax the rich. Okay, Fox News says, the government will take most of your earnings when you become a multimillionaire. Keyword, when you become a multimillionaire. Okay, civil rights leader, the Black Panther says, I shouldn't even tell you this, but legalize pot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna legalize pot. Wait, you also gotta get people with marijuana-related convictions out of jail. That doesn't do anything. If we say no, it doesn't do anything. But if we do it, it affects some of the people. So we're gonna do it anyway. Wait, you also gotta invest all the new revenues into the communities fucked over by the war on drugs. If we say no, it doesn't change anything. And if we do it, it makes a bunch of people happy. And we increase people power. But we're, we're losing some money. Stop right there. Let's not create another big tobacco. Co-ops for marijuana businesses labels health standards, says the union leader. Laissez faire, or do we do it? It's really interesting, like, seeing the little guys move around, but we're doing it. People power. We have an extravagant budget surplus. When the bar is full, the extra money goes to a new sovereign wealth fund, says the treasurer. And it's used to buy shares in existing companies. Basically, we slowly and legalize, we socially and legally socialize the means of production. So what that means is the government buys shares in the company and by the government sort of buying the shares, it like the government would become a majority shareholder eventually and then basically the government would own the company, you get it? Okay, the student, the education advisor uh, putting up a motion to cancel the student debt. So far, it's not affecting the people, but we're going to do it. Cancel that student debt. We have failed a generation. Student debt is a major crisis that we can end immediately. But that's my money. <laughs> or cancel all debt. Cancel all debt makes everybody happy, and it gains people power. But we lose a lot of our money. Are we all in some medieval LARP shit? Abolish the death penalty, your highness. And that one, we need uh, at least 50% of the Congress, which we do have. We abolish it it makes some people upset but we save money and it keeps the civil rights people happy no one should be in jail because they don't have money and cash bail at a federal level see the people these people in the back like the extremist people that will want security military strength spreading crime terrorism tax cuts small government it's just those people in the back Traditional Christianity, everybody in the front is people that want civil rights and social justice. Okay, we're gonna end cash bail. Press secretary says, gun nuts hate you. Let's enjoy some recreational shooting. Um, do we say no or do we do it? If we do it, they like it. I think there's no harm in doing some shooting. Yay, where should we go? Gun range or hunting? AR fifteen makes Christian people happy. makes the world peace people happy. But the world peace people are already there. Mm. I don't think either of those should be used for hunting, right? What happened to like normal not machine guns? I don't know. Um Okay, I think I'm I'm so far I wanna play this this first round as like what I wanna do and then maybe like the next round we'll do some more choices where um it makes the people more of the people happy. We'll see. I'm gonna pick AK forty seven. We are updating a lot of equipment. We can pass it to po police departments for cheap. They love our cool toys, says the defense advisor. Do we tell them it's dangerous or do we militarize? They don't feel like an occupying force in our communities, says the civil rights leader. The gun nuts are not like gun, but. Unions are different compensation. 
bosses can legally cut them, do something about it. Uh, protect the pensions. Fall in the Mexico border. Stop the mess. The Supreme Court is still dominated by old consents to overturn your policy. Should we reform it? How? We do see through the court. The Republicans turned it into a partisan body. Let's take it back. Well, we don't have enough uh, seats in Congress to do that anyways. Other ideas. We can limit the Supreme Court justices' tenure. Each president appoints two members, which replace the most senior ones. Too radical. That doesn't seem radical at all. But <laughs> okay, we have the, we have the power to do that. So let's amend the Constitution. Union leader says your student loan cancellation primarily primarily benefited the middle class. You better have something for workers too. Okay. Defense advisor says at your earliest convenience. Here's a draft for the Pentagon budget. Nothing new. Only needs a rubber stamp. No, nah. let's let's see what we're doing. Budget item space force ramp still figuring out its purpose. Very promising. <laughs> Do we want a space force? I don't think so. <laughs> Budget item nuclear arsenal modernization. If somebody has to blow up the world, it should be us. Salient. Okay. Mm, I don't think we should blow up the world. Somehow that makes people upset. But look at how much look how much money we're saving. Our sovereign wealth fund is growing. Where should we invest on? Biotech? How does biotech make the Christian traditionalists happy? How does biotechnology... What does that have to do with tradition and Christianity? That's insane. These people are crazy. Now, let's invest in renewables. Oops. And my friend, please don't go to the karaoke fa fundraiser for the Fraternal Order of Police. If we say cops are workers, it makes those people ha like us. I feel like those people are going to assassinate us because we're not doing things that they want. My dear, we could expand social security if we remove the caps on the payroll tax. They just favor the very rich, says the health care advisor. Tax the rich. Question, what did you mean by winning the class as in the new pork times? Style fashion or the bourgeoisie proletariat. That's weird. Okay. Defense advisor says I'm notifying you that the Iraqi government is calling for all foreign troops to leave. They want us out. Do we say no or do we withdraw? This is the thing. I don't know. I don't know a lot about this situation but I feel like we should just do what they want <laughs> surely you are aware that leaving Iraq would jeopardize our presence in the whole region ISIS might surge so do we stay or withdraw mm -hmm. Our, the people are very divided. They either like us or they hate us. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say withdraw. We are ready to purchase more stocks with our sovereign wealth fund. What sector should we focus on? Real estate or manufacturing? I'm gonna say real estate. Housing advisor says, yo, is it time to tackle the housing crisis? Let's do it. We propose a big trust fund to create millions of affordable housing units, no ghettos, no red lines. Uh, sure, let's do it. Energy advisor says, for a swift transition to renewables, we need to create a new agency, a power marketing administration. Mm -hmm. Do we let the market decide or do we do it? makes those people happy. Uh, let's do it. 
Energy Advisor says turbines, turbines everywhere. The wind generation potential is nine times our energy demand. We say wind is unreliable, or do we do it? Oh, we do it, and we're losing some of our greenhouse gas emissions are going down. Treasurer says. Weird, the estate tax is full of loopholes. It's almost like it's designed by very wealthy people. I'll close the loopholes. Fox News says, The death tax deserves to die. Americans brace for the latest expropriation. Okay, I have no idea what they mean by that. Housing advisor says, Tax house flippers add a penalty for empty homes. Give tax breaks to folks who are being priced out of their hoods. One, two, three, go. Oh, why does it... Okay. So if we say no, because those people want the free market, but that one... What is this guy? Uh, because he... Because he wants tax cuts. But that is tax cuts. But it's taxing the house flippers. So he just... Yeah. That person doesn't know what they want. <laughs> A Native American tribe is suing the state government for authorizing an oil pipeline on their land. Controversial, says the attorney. Let's talk to them. Environmentalists, this is so embarrassing. I want to kill myself. We have to reroute that pipeline and pay reparations. Okay, do it. Press secretary. Bad reputation among the elites. Befriend, befriend a billionaire. Some of them are decent people. Um... We, if we befriend them, will that even like help us in any way at all? Or are they gonna just try to get tax cuts again? They're being taxed, but they shouldn't even be billionaires anymore. Um, we'll say they're class enemies. The economist says investments are languishing, so I prepared an economic development package, cash and near cash incentives. I don't know what this means. If we incentivize it, our greenhouse gas emissions go up though. It makes those people happy. Also. Hmm. If we say no, nothing changes. I'm gonna say no. We can cut 30% of residential energy consumption by weatherizing all homes. Can you believe it? Sure. Great. We will give away grants to retrofit leaky buildings. They will prioritize... Do we prioritize low income or do we prioritize older houses? Older houses makes the greenhouse gas go down more. The low-income families, everybody likes that more. Um, we'll help low-income families. Healthcare advisor says, Cripes, Big Pharma is scamming us. What if we peg the price of prescription drugs to those in peer companies, peer countries? Jeez, I can't read. Sure. Fox News says, question, you once said billionaires should not exist. Literally, billionaires should not exist. Civil rights leader says, the two senators per state rule is profoundly undemocratic and favors overwhelmingly white states. Change it. But the constitution, or how? How can we change it? Democrat says we can increase the seats in the Senate and apportion senators according to the state's population. Scary, but fair. We don't have enough control of Congress to do that right now, so. The gender pay gap is still a thing and it shouldn't be. Reintroduce the Paycheck Fairness Act, a step in the right direction. Um, complex problem? Equal pay for equal work. Transportation advisor says, picture bullet trains zooming across our Great Plains. Railroads created America. Now they can, they can revive it now. Let's do it. Damn those trade agreements. They let corporations ship jobs abroad and screw up American workers. We say we benefit from them or that we'll negotiate. Mm. We negotiate. 
we lose all our money and our greenhouse gases go up. <laughs> we have like almost no money left. And it's almost time for the next elections. The immigration advisor says, let's provide a swift pathway to citizenship for millions of undocumented immigrants of America. Sure. People power's going way up. Jacqueline Magazine says, the, less, the left must keep lefting. Defense advisor says, I must inform you that transgender people are still banned from serving in the U.S. military. No homo. Repeal the ban. New Pork Times says, please a comment about the blackface incident. Outrage. Midterm elections are upon us. I'm a bit nervous. Uh-oh. We have, like, no money left in the government, so they're not going to be happy about that. But we gave them so much power. We gave them so much power. Let's see. Uh, we lost we lost seats in Congress. Okay, so that's not good. We're not going to be able to do as much stuff as we did this time. We may not have enough votes to pass ambitious reforms until the next elections. Budget item, F-22 and F-15 fighter jets. Obsolete but cool looking, more of a job creation program to be honest. Defund them. Having trouble connecting with Christians? Visit the Pope. He's a crypto le leftist after all. Uh, I'm gonna say no. No thanks. Is it Christmas already? What are you gonna say in your video message? Christmas or happy holidays? Can we overturn the Muslim ban? It's kind of xenophobic, kind of unconstitutional. Overturn. Immigration advisor says, your lovey-dovey immigration policies are quite unpopular. Can I help you find the right balance? I'm gonna say, join the team. That doesn't mean I'm gonna listen to him. Transportation advisor says, our handsome buses run on diesel. They'd be much more attractive if they were electric. Buses are not the problem. Oh, transition transits. Hmm. Hmm. What do we do? Are buses the problem or not? Um, because we said we were going to build trains. The buses are for local transportation. I think... Mm, but that makes our greenhouse gases go down. But I want to say buses are not the problem. That's what I'm going to say. It's better to keep those functioning older vehicles on the road than to, like, just introduce new buses. Like, I don't know, that's a waste of money. Wind turbines are literally killing all the birds. I read it on the internet, says so environmentalist. That's propaganda or fund burned bird sanctuaries. I'm gonna say that's propaganda. It's redistricting, redistricting Time. I was thinking, why don't we hire Jerry Salamander to redraw the electoral districts in our favor? Unfair or gerrymander? Everybody likes it if we gerrymander everything? What? Why does everybody want us to gerrymander things? That's insane. As, oh, that's because we made the districts so that we would always win. Okay. But no, that's unfair. Let's invest in big solar power plants. We've got plenty of desert in the States. But what if it's cloudy? Go sun, and we're out of money. We're gonna about, we're about to be in the negatives for money. Farmers got heaps of land. With little help, we can grow energy alongside crops. Uh, don't give them a subsidy. The opioid epidemic killed 400,000 Americans. I submit that we go after the corporations that enabled it. Get them. Treasurer says we're officially in deficit. It means that spending exceeds revenues. It makes me quite nervous. Sorry to interrupt. The constituents are anxious. Will you push for Medicare for all? Health, yeah. You could establish a single payer health plan. The government covers all the bills. Simpler, less wasteful, just lovely. And we don't have enough Congress control to do it. Okay. You seem a little stressed. You should pick up a sport and show people you are not at all work. You are not all work and no play. Basketball. Simulation assistant. A voter's top priority changed. A pr your pro-labor agenda convinced millions of working class non-voters to get back into party politics. Okay, that's cool. That was that guy. I 
guy still doesn't like me, but <laughs> okay. Immigration advisor says we must keep the bad guys out of this country. Let's continue the border wall construction. No. <laughs> Treasurer says I'm cur it's curious how tax audits for the rich have been steadily declining. What if we increase them? Do it. Corporations and billionaires are moving their wealth to offshore tax havens. I have a plan to stop them. I'm listening. To curb invasion, all countries should automatically exchange tax information. Okay, make it happen. The polls are clear. We need a pet in the White House. Do we want a cat? Or do we want a dog? Cat or dog? Let's get a cat. Democracy is cool. Let's make election day a national holiday. We might increase voter turnout too. Happy election day. Yo, let's establish a progressive tax on extreme wealth. It will only affect the 0.1% and raise trillions, and we do not have enough control of Congress to pass it. Let's deny more public services to immigrants. We'd save taxpayer money and gently nudge them out. Uh, no, let's not do that. Those people really seem to like it or dislike it, but we're not going to do that. United Nations says, have you thought about a gift to bring at the ambassador's swearing-in ceremony? <laughs> what? A gun? Or a pet eagle? What the hell? It makes those two people happy, or it makes those three people happy. A gift to bring it to the ambassador's swearing-in ceremony. An antique gun or a pet eagle. How is this a choice? How is this a choice that affects politics? This is so stupid. You sh I don't think you should give someone a pet eagle. That sounds bad. So I'm gonna say a gun. Treasure says Switzerland is refusing to comply with tax transparency agreements. It's kind of their whole biz. Whatever, or do we sanction them? Mm -hmm. Most people don't like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sanction them. I don't really know what's happening, but... Energy Advisor says the desert solar plants have a little problem with dust. We need to hire more cleaners. Uh, jobs? The jobs people like that. You know, we could raise taxes on corporations that have obscene pay gaps between CEOs and workers. Yes, do that. Lobbyist says, and often you can't refuse. You give us a few tax-exempt development zones and we'll start new business. Uh, no. Democrat says, awkward. Some Democrats are joining the Republicans in a call for moderation and fiscal responsibility. So we lost even more control of our Congress. Civil rights leader says a bunch of social justice orgs are putting pressure on your moderate pals. We've got your back. Thank you. Civil rights leader says cash-strapped cities rely on fines and fees. They disproportion disproportionately target minorities and fuel mass incarceration. We can change that. We're gonna get um, we're gonna get in trouble for not having any money. They're they're gonna kill us. We are in deficit. Only Republicans are allowed to blow big holes in the budget. We are the responsible ones. Rural advisor says rural America has been neglected by the Democrats, but there's a lot we can do there. Let me help you. Join the team, my buddy. He says farming's gotten a get big or get out deal. Bust the monopolies and we'll all be merry. Yeah, break up the monopolies. Treasurer says a carbon tax is a beautiful way to make polluters pay and incentivize a transition. I love it. See, we have all these ways to make money, but we can't do it because we don't have enough Congress control. But the Congress is mad at us for not having money. How does that make sense? If they were, if they want us to make money, they should let us do the tax. Then we wouldn't be in deficit. This is, it's such, it's so backwards. This is how stupid politics is. Uh, the lobbyist says, nice economy, you have right there. It would be a shame if something happened to it. Is that a threat? Of course not, but all these taxes and regulations are pissing off Wall Street. You were playing with fire, comrade. Noted. The IRS has been gutted. If we want to recover lost revenues, we need to fund it more. I'm gonna say, let's do it. Uh oh, the rich are converting earned income into capital gains in order to pay less taxes. Tax capital gains then. 
boom, no longer in deficit. See how easy that is? See how easy that is when you tax the fucking rich people? Dow Jones plunges 800 points, proof that socialism doesn't work. We're not even a socialist country. This is, this is, just because it's democratic socialism simulator, it's still not a socialist country. <laughs> I don't know how, that's... I guess we could bring a couple of factories back to the US, you just have to sweeten the deal. No deal, or do we give them money? No, they should just do it be, to be good. <laughs> I sense a disturbance in the media. Some powerful people are plotting a smear campaign against us. Really? Right before the elections? United Nation says we were thinking Iraq could use some international aid, you know, after being completely wrecked by you guys. Uh, I will contribute. Presidential election elections are here. Will you get a second term? Four more years, four more years. Okay. What's gonna happen? It seems like the people mostly like us, but we're back in a deficit. And we only have 50% control of Congress right now. Let's see, let's see what happens. You have been re-elected and you gained seats in Congress. There we go. That's good, that's good. Treasurer says, let's establish a progressive tax on extreme wealth. Okay, let's do it now. We have the power. Look at that. Look at that. No longer in, no longer in deficit. Jacqueline Magazine says, under the new wealth tax, billionaires will be taxed at the same rate as middle class homeowners. Okay. Job transition. Your Green New Deal is killing legacy industries. Let's make sure workers aren't screwed over, over as usual. Okay. For starters, give laid off fossil fuel workers five years of their formal former salary. That is a lot. You tell me they don't have any other... They can't get a job? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. I understand training programs and like job placement programs, but five years of their formal former salary, like, are you not, are, what? I don't know, that seems crazy to me. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Body cameras on all police officers, more oversight, more reality TV about cops, says the tech guru. Mm. I would rather just have less cops. But that doesn't seem to be an option, so... Tech Guru says the future of transport, hypersonic maglev VAC trains connecting major urban areas. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. You sound insane. The biggest tax haven is the USA. Let's help other countries investigate their citizens hiding wealth here. Okay, fair enough. Wealth tax constitutional? Some billions, billionaires don't think so. Job transition. Here's an easy one. Fossil fuel workers get priority job placement in the Green New Deal projects. Sure. Opinion. Class warfare is raging. It's time for dialogue. Sued opioid giant files bankrupt bankruptcy. We are scapegoats. Half a million Americans live in the street. House them and the rich folks will stop bitching about them. Do it. Budget item. Aircraft carriers. No other country has more than two. We have 11. We'd like a 12th just to be sure. No. STEM. Okay, STEM is good, but not for... Do we need it for defense? Why, do, why, why does it have to be connected to defense? Everybody likes it, though. Uh... Sure. What about funding for the arts? Steam, steam, steam. Okay. Funding for artists. Budget item, black budget, it's a secret. <laughs> the options are what or I support blacks. Let's, what? It's a secret, I could tell you, but I have to kill you. I'm joking, of course. Tell me. CIA, NSA, secret wars, illegal detention centers, the sensitive, the embarrassing, the unpopular. Uh, yeah, cut that shit. Civil rights leader says cops are overused. We need unarmed first responders trained to handle mental health issues and minor conflicts. Good idea. Scandal gate. Leaked email reveal the Democratic Party's dirty secrets. Okay. Y'all gotta support organic farming. Make it real and cheap, not just an uppity brand. Okay. Sure. Civil rights leader says many communities don't have access to banking services. What if we turned every post office into a bank? Awesome. Union leader says half of Amazon workers are being replaced by robots. The other half are paid peanuts. We are shutting this down. Cool. Amazon workers on strike are inalienable shopping rights are in jeopardy. 
Treasurer says, let's create an international fund to support the investigation of tax evaders. Uh, let's do it. Amazon workers are occupying warehouses now. These hooligans are wrecking the whole economy. Okay. Let's negotiate. We demand living wages, better benefits, and a plan to put Amazon under public ownership within 10 years. Sounds reasonable. It is not reasonable. When the strike is over, Amazon will meet all the demands, but it will stay private. That's a compromise or socialize Amazon. Let's do it. Socialize Amazon. So we can gradually buy Amazon stocks and put worker representative, workers representatives on the board of directors. Pricey, priceless. Seize the means or buy the means. If we buy the means, we are in debt. If we seize the means, I think it is. We can seize the means, it didn't upset anyone. <laughs> I'm afraid that is still un un unconstitutional. We ought to provide just compensation as per Fifth Amendment. Okay. Scandalgate email revealed there are illegal immigrants interning for the government. Affirmative action or minutia. Illegal immigrants interning for the government. What? So, affirmative action upsets those people because they don't like immigration. And that upsets the working class people. Okay, well, I don't care. Illegal immigrants can work for the government if they want to. Regarding Scandalgate, are you apologizing to the offended sex worker? Conspiracy theories? Or I apologize. I don't, I don't what is this, what is the scandal going on? I don't know. Our right, tax, our wealth tax is disincentive disincentivizing the rich from hoarding wealth they are spending like crazy good darn monsanto controls near about all seeds y'all have to reform patents because this ain't working for us reform wow who knew that tighter tax audits on the rich would recover so much lost revenue yup we got the money Wall Street is on strike. Investors dump assets. Stocks dip down. Retirement funds lose value. Grandmas get upset. Okay. The reforms are popular, but the optics could be better. You should publicly condemn communism. Communism is complex. Mandatory minimum sentences are only adding to mass incarceration. The DOJ can abandon them for federal pro prosecutions. Um, abandon? I don't know. Billionaires are now unable to trade artworks in order to dodge, to dodge taxes. The art world is doomed. Um, why is the choice artists must suffer and take a billion kid? Like, why is... I, I don't understand that. <laughs> no. That's the thing, it's like, when you, when you punish the rich people, they start throwing tantrums and they're like, we'll just shut down this country. Like, that's what they do. And then the little people get mad at you, even though you're helping them when they should be like getting increasingly mad at the rich people for fucking them over. I don't know why it's always like that. Like people are very stupid. <laughs> what about all the private jet flights emerge from the scandal gate leak? We will fly less. <laughs> We must impose complete transparency regarding the ownership of offshore companies. Make them disclose. People are liking us less now. This is not good. A cable from the Cayman Islands. Money laundering is part of our cultural heritage. You are being insensitive. Yeah, no. Do we have to embargo them? <laughs> Doesn't sound very nice. But money laundering is part of our cultural heritage. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. People like bold ideas. Let's start deporting all the undocumented immigrants. No. Renewable energy sources are intermittent. We need to invest in energy storage. Yeah, let's do it. Two million Americans are at risk of eviction right now. Give them tenant protections and support in court. Do it. Judging by the scandal gate receipts, you seem awfully concerned for your personal safety. Um, hmm. Security, okay, th those people like security, so they like that. And then that one, 
doesn't like that we spent money. I'm gonna say it's normal. I have no idea what this scandal of the gate thing is. Do you want jobs? Cut corporate taxes and they'll just happen. That's how the economy works. No, that's not how the economy works. Public housing has a bad rep because the projects are underfunded. What are you gonna do? Fund them. Geothermal energy, less iconic and competitive than other renewables, still pretty clean. Wow, geysers. Give legacy workers housing assistance. Some jobs just ain't coming back. Folks may have to move. Housing for all. Oh boy, midterm elections are here again. Are you ready? Uh, this one's gonna be tough. Uh, we have- we- we- are we gonna- if we lose seats in Congress, we still might have 50%. The people, I think we might win. Uh, we, we're not in deficit, and we gave them a lot of people power, and the greenhouse gases are going down. Let's see how we did. Okay, we lost seats in Congress, so it's a 50-50 right now. Uh, we lost seats in the Senate. You could be a lame duck. No offense to ducks and disabled people. Scandalgate is a distraction, and we need to stop talking about it. Jobs Transition says, Enough with the vague retraining BS. If obsolete workers want to retrain, offer them free college education. Okay. Your subsidies renewables made offshore oil drilling unprofitable. Here's some mass layoffs for you. The, ta the energy created with taxpayer money had better be sold to munis municipal and worker-owned utilities. Power to the workers. Boom, national cap on rent increases. Stomp those shitty landlords. <laughs> Stomp. Now farmers can't even fix their own tractors without breaking law. Plain greed if you ask me. Right to repair. I bet if politicians had to publish their tax returns, they'd be less inclined to use and defend tax havens. I mean, it will backfire, but I'm going to do it anyway. Swiss banks increase transparency as a result of our pressure. Hidden funds are coming back home. We did it. The sanctions worked. We could tie immigration to employment status even more. If you don't have a job, you are out. Ooh, it's divisive. Uh, too exploitative. I'm no fan of inspections, but Donald Skunk has lowered food standards and screwed up honest folks. Raise the standards. ISIS activity is increasing in Iraq. Uh, we could assemble a multinational peacekeeping force. Is it too weird for you? Hmm... Let's try. We are overtaxing our wealthy donors. Please let's give them an itty bitty tax cut. If we do, it makes those people happy. I don't know why, but no. What are you going to wear to tomorrow's rally? A t-shirt or a suit? Let's wear a suit. We'll dress up for the occasion. Oof, publishing our tax returns made our base realize we are in fact quite wealthy. Companies can import meat and pass it as American. Trade agreements are all messed up. Enforce labels. Energy storage needs to be much cheaper in order to make renewables reliable. Research and develop. Our Financial Stability Oversight Council detected an explosive growth of leveraged lending and collateralized loan obligations. What does that mean? Banks are lending money to heavily indebted companies. The high-risk loans are then packaged and resold very 2008. That does not sound good. A good year for indie music, but also global financial crisis. Oh no. Oh yes, we can tighten lending standards, but the risk of another financial meltdown is real. Uh, tighten? We have rumint of Iran enriching uranium. New sanctions or new treaty? Let's go with a treaty. We can fund militia in neighboring countries to block immigrants before they even reach our border. Uh, no, thank you. Old miners ain't gonna learn new code. Offer them a generous early retirement. They deserve it, sure. Thanks to increased funding, the IRS was able to bust even more, or more tax evaders than ever. Look at that. Newport Times says, billionaires rush to philanthropy. I'd rather give everything to the opera than fund this government. Oh, they like that. <laughs> in fighting alert, a batch of leftist candidates are challenging our party incumbents. Don't endorse them. I'll endorse them. 
Party divided. Meme wielding millennials unseat venerable centrists. Ooh, we got more control of Congress. That's good. All that fake plant-based meat is damaging the cattle industry. Ban it for good. No, we're not gonna ban. Uh, crisis on Wall Street. Markets plunge. Government regulators warned about risky leveraged lending. Yes, a handful of banks are solely responsible for this financial crisis, but they are too big to fail. Bail them out. I'm gonna say no. Well, this time we can take them over. Bank nationalization is actually rather common. Alright. We can nationalize. If we let them die, it makes people upset. <laughs> we gotta nationalize. Fine, we are moving our Cayman Islands money back to the US, but we expect a tax break. Sure, or never. Because of your absurd pay gap tax, CEOs are now making only 50 times more than the average employee. Oh no, they're gonna starve. The war on coal is real. The Green New Deal keeps destroying jobs, says Fox News. Okay. Unbelievable. It turns out when you legalize immigrants, they start paying income taxes. Okay. The banks we nationalized are doing better now. Should we reprivatize them? No. <laughs> Then we can use them to sim stimulate sectors we deem important. Where should we invest our money? In green tech or in industry? Hmm. Industry makes the greenhouse gases go up, but it makes people happy. Green tech makes the gases go down. Hmm. I kind of want to pick industry. The fracking industry collapsed. Damn it, those were well paid jobs. Okay. Housing segregation belongs to a racist past. Tell municipalities inclusionary zoning or no federal funds. Okay. Integration. A very nice side effect of ending wars is that we have less veterans to heal, more resources for everybody. Look at that. Blockchain. No. <laughs> we're developing a series of visionary solutions to global warming. Do you want to hear our pitches? Sure. We cool the earth by spraying aerosols in the stratosphere, same as a couple big volcanoes. I'm gonna say no. That sounds crazy. The human race is doomed, but don't worry, the universe will go on without us. Listen, America was built on 200 years of slavery. The racial wealth gap keeps increasing. It's time for reparations. Uh, we don't have enough Congress power to pass that yet. Motion to ban for-profit charter schools and require more oversight on not-for-profit ones. Um, sure. Charter schools are a form of privatization. They are unaccountable and increase segregation. Okay. Time flies. We are at the end of your presidency. I admit I'm glad it's over. Change is so stressful. Good job, comrade. The working class is more organized and militant than ever. We are building socialism as we speak. Look at that. Full people power. Full people power, leader. I am so sad. We worked hard, but we didn't meet our emissions targets. Will the next administration finish the job? Yeah, we didn't We didn't um, completely uh, eliminate our greenhouse gases, but we did lower them by at least 50%. So I would say that's pretty good. And... Uh, we have a generous budget surplus. So that's very, very good. You're stellar. If we don't mess it up, we'll have another Democratic president after you. End of simulation. But wait, this was only one of 18 quintil quintillion possible scenarios. Ready for the next one. Okay. So that was good. That was a good first round. We, um, we did not get assassinated. We had, we didn't have full control of Congress, but we had a majority. We had money. We gave the people all the power. I would say that was a pretty good presidency. Okay, we've done this before. Um, say hope. How would you like your inauguration ceremony to be? Lavish or humble? Let's go with humble. I'm gonna, see, I think for this, uh, round of this game. We're gonna do, we'll try doing like what makes the most people happy, which I feel like is going to be a bad idea. Wonderful ceremony, moving speech, we have to start working, so many proposals, so little time. We can require corporations to gradually transfer up to 10% of their shares into a fund controlled 
by the employees. Okay, this is one we didn't get last time. So maybe I'll just keep maybe I'll just keep playing the way I have been. No, we can't, or 10% is reasonable. The people like that one. Motion to cancel student debt affecting millions of Americans. Okay, do it. Cancel debt. Legalize pot. Done. Uh, get people out of jail for marijuana-related convictions. Done. Uh, invest the revenues in communities fucked over by the war on drugs. Done. Stop right there. Let's not create another big tobacco. Co-ops for marijuana businesses. Labels, health standards. Okay. Time to tackle the housing crisis. Let's do it. Build and fix. What did you mean by winning the class war? Class as in... That makes... So that makes people more divided. That makes people... Oh, I didn't mean to do that one, but okay. We did that now. Can we overturn the Muslim ban? Muslim ban. Overturn it. Yeah. Build the wall. Don't build the wall. Don't build the wall. The Supreme Court is still dominated by old conservatives and threatens to overturn your policy. Should we reform it? How? We do not have enough Congress power to do that. Other ideas. Limit their tenure? Yes, we can do that. I say nobody should make money from incarcerating people. Ban for-profit prisons. Okay, do it. Having trouble connecting with Christians? Visit the Pope. He's a crypto leftist after all. Um, sure, we'll visit the Pope this time. To impress the Pope, you should casually drop a cool verse from the Bible. Oh no, I don't know Bible verses. Okay, the Christian people like that one. Like Romans 1, 26 to 27. And the civil rights people like the Matthew quote. I'm gonna go with the Romans one. I don't know Bible quotes. I don't know Bible verses, but that brings those people closer. So, is it Christmas already? What are we going to say? We're gonna say Happy Holidays. Draft for the Pentagon budget. Uh, let's examine. Space Force. Do we want a Space Force? No, we don't. We can cut 30% of residential energy consumption by weatherizing all homes. Can you believe it? Okay. We will give away grants to retrofit leaky buildings, but they will prioritize low income or older houses. We do the older houses this time. Oh, it like does barely the greenhouse gases more. So let's do the low income because more people like that one. 15 minimum wage for all federal workers and contractors. No outsourcing shenanigans. I mean, it should be more than 15, but okay. Minimum wage will result in job losses, a report by the Koch Rand Foundation for Free Enterprise, of course. Let's provide a swift pathway to citizenship. Sure. The immigration policies are unpopular. You can join the team. Taxes, the state tax is full of loopholes. It's almost like it's designed by the very wealthy people. Close the loopholes. Wait, so... Oh, never mind. I just, I just got confused. The death tax deserves to die. Americans brace for lace expropriation. <laughs> what is the death tax? Like they're taxing dead people? Can you believe some cities still have lead in drinking water? I'll pass a new clean water act. I'll have a new clean water act, please. Yeah, people need clean water. DARPA thanks the administration for continued support of the super soldier program. What? Weaponized post-humanism, unkillable... Sleepless soldiers, animal-like enhancements, vitamins, etc. That's crazy. What if criminals were sentenced by completely unbiased al algorithms? Sounds biased. No offense, but it would be nice if the commander-in-chief needed congressional approval to start new wars. Democracy. Gun nuts hate you? Let's enjoy some recreational shooting. Sure. Gun range or hunting? Nobody cares if we go to the gun range, but the hunting is a bit divisive. Let's go hunting anyway. 
Choose your weapon. Um, let's go with an AR-15 this time. What about stopping all deportations for undocumented folks who lived more than five years in the USA? Bad idea or good idea? Um, good idea. The left must keep lefting. In Europe, they have collective contracts that set minimum standards across industries. Pretty cool, huh? Let's do it. Sectoral bargaining can reduce wage gaps and encourage worker solidarity. For swift transition to renewables, we need to create a new agency, a pow um, power marketing administration. But they like the market solutions. I'm going to go with market solutions this time because those people like it. I'm notifying you that the Iraqi government is calling for all foreign troops to leave they want out. Nobody cares if we withdraw, but if we stay... It does some stuff. The uh, world peace people don't like it, but the military people like it. We'll say no this time, since we said yes last time. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, the constituents are anxious. Will you push for Medicare for all? Yes. You can establish a single-payer health plan. The government covers all the bills. We say no, they don't like it. We say yes. We'll say yes. Socialized health care is actually slavery. How? Your pro-labor agenda convinced millions of working-class non-voters to get back into party politics. See, it's funny that that this guy wants tax cuts and small government and austerity, but he also wants workers' rights, job creation, and unionization. Like, to, how does he think he's going to get those things? <laughs> nice economy you have there. It would be a shame if something happened to it. Is it a, that a threat? Okay. North Korea tested another ballistic missile. The country is engulfed with happiness, according to their state press. Ignore or tweet a threat. I don't think we should be tweeting threats. Your student loan cancel cancellation primarily benefited the middle class. You better have something for workers too. Budget item, nuclear arsenal modernization. If somebody has to blow up the world, it should be us. No. Tax house flippers, add a penalty for empty homes, give tax breaks to folks who are being priced out. Oh, they don't like that. But I think we should do it anyway. Many nonviolent drug offenders are still in jail due to due to draconian laws from the war on drugs. You can pardon them. You can pardon them. Democracy is cool. Let's make election day a national holiday. We might increase voter turnout too. Happy election day. Have you thought about a gift to bring at the ambassador swearing in ceremony? Okay, this is the one antique gun or pet eagle. The people seem to like pet eagle more, so we're gonna go with pet eagle. I don't know how that's a good gift. F-22 and F-15 fighter jets, obsolete but cool looking, more of a job creation program to be honest. Defund? Yeah, we'll defund. We must keep the bad guys out of this country, let's continue the border wall construction. And they really like that. But no. Midterm elections are upon us, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous too. We might lose some seats, I think. Oh, we stayed the same. Okay, that's good. We didn't lose seats this time. Oh my, we maintained control of Congress. We'll be able to legislate as smoothly, as smoothly as we did so far. Civil rights leader says, Bad guys win because they suppress the black vote. Bullshit ID laws, polling stations, shut down. Restore voting rights. Yeah, nothing like that. Please, a comment about the blackface incident. Outraged. Let's deny more public services to immigrants. We'd save taxpayer money and gently nudge them out. Ooh, some of those people like that. I don't think so. What about a 70% tax on earnings of up to millions? What we used to do in the 70s? Yes, tax the rich. Oh, they really don't like that. <laughs> <coughs> Government will take most of your earnings when you become a multimillionaire. We have an extravagant budget surplus. When the bar is full, extra money goes to new sovereign wealth fund. And it's used to buy shares in existing companies. Basically, we slowly and legally socialize the means of production. Dow Jones plunges 800 points, proof that socialism doesn't work. Investments are languishing, so I prepared an economic development package. 
cash and near cash incentives. Nope. Or... Okay, if we do it, the people like it, but it makes the greenhouse gases go up. I'm gonna do it this time. Last time we didn't do it. Bad reputation among the elites, befriend, befriend a billionaire. Some of them are decent people. Class enemies or set up a date. I'm gonna say class enemies. We need to keep those people that are at the bottom, on the bottom on our side. Rural America has been neglected by Democrats. There's a lot we can do there. Let me help you. Yes. Farming's gotten a get big or get out deal. Bust some monopolies and we'll all be merry. Break them up. Half of Amazon workers are being replaced by robots. The other half are paid peanuts. We are shutting this down. Amazon workers on strike. Inalienable shopping rights are in jeopardy. You once said billionaires should not exist. Figuratively or literally? I'm going to say figuratively just because it makes those people happy. <laughs> you seem a little stressed. You should pick up a sport and show people you're not all work and no play. Golf or basketball? I'm going to say basketball. Blockchain. No. Put pressure on trading partners. A fee on imported goods that we deem pollution intensive. Sounds protectionist or I like that. I'm gonna say I like that. Immigration courts have a long backlog of cases to process. Should we increase funding? Yes. It's redistricting time. I was thinking, why don't we hire Jerry Salamander to redraw electoral districts in our favor? If we gerrymander everything. It doesn't, I mean, it moves them a little bit closer. Hmm. I'm gonna say no, again. I'm so depressed, no matter what we do, we'll have to deal with climate disasters. Maybe we can do something. Increase funding for firefighters, coastal resiliency, hazard mitigation grants. Let's do it, they like that. In fighting alert, a bunch of leftist candidates are challenging our party incumbents, don't endorse them. Endorse them. Today, algorithms can protect crimes from big data, introducing predictive policing. That sounds bad. Public housing has a bad rep because the projects are underfunded. What are you gonna do? Fund them. What are you gonna wear to tomorrow's rally? T-shirt or a suit? Let's wear a suit. Party divided. Meme-wielding millennials unseat venerable centrists. Financial Stability Oversight Council detected an explosive growth of leveraged lending and collateralized loan obligations. What? Banks are lending money to heavily indebted companies. The high-risk loans are then repackaged and resold very 2008. What happened in 2008? A good year for indie music, music, but also the global financial crisis. Oh no. Oh yes, we can tighten lending standards, but the risk of another financial meltdown is real. Tighten. Half a million Americans live in the street, house them, and rich folks will stop bitching about them. It's worth the cost. Top secret, Israel is preparing to attack Gaza. It's a retaliation against Hamas' very tiny, very insulting rocket. Dissuade or support. Israel is preparing to attack Gaza. Um, so the civil rights and the social justice people don't like that. I'm gonna say dissuade. A cable from Jerusalem, very tiny rocket equals existential threat to Israel. You anti-Semite attack launched, by the way. We will condemn them. Wow, were you guys visited by the three ghosts of human rights? Care to join this resolution condemning Israel? Yes. This is going to blow your mind. You could even suspend military aid to Israel to add weight to this resolution. Suspend. UN unanimous, unanimously condemns the attack on Gaza. Here's why the entire world is wrong. Uh -huh. America joins the United Nations program. Program? against Israel, what is even going on? Admit it, if you want to get rid of fossil fuels, you have to comp compensate with nuclear subsidized now. Okay, the environmental people don't like that, but the uh, economic people do. Makes the greenhouse gases go down, lose a lot of money. I'm gonna say fine. Amazon workers are occupying warehouses. Hooligans are wrecking the whole economy. Let's negotiate. 
Living wages, better benefits, a plan to put Amazon under public ownership within 10 years. Sounds reasonable. When the strike is over, Amazon will meet all demands, but it will stay private. No. Socialize Amazon. We can gradually buy Amazon stocks and put worker workers' representatives on the board of directors, pricey, priceless. Seize the means. We will buy the means. Polls are clear, we need a pet in the White House. Cat or dog? Uh, the uh, tax cut people like cat, and the civil rights people like cat. The traditional Christians and the workers' right people like dog. <laughs> I'm gonna say cat again. America craves for a new space program. Children need to be inspired by the final frontier. Revive NASA. People want to revive NASA. E, we are fish officially in deficit. It means that spending exceeds revenues and makes me quite nervous. Facial recognition on all surveillance cameras harness the power of AI to track criminals. I would say that's problematic. Yo, let's establish a progressive tax on extreme wealth. It will only affect the 0.1% and raise trillions. We have enough power to do it, so let's do it. Under new wealth tax, billionaires will be taxed at the same rate as middle class homeowners. Wall Street is on strike, investors dump assets, stocks dip down, retirement funds lose value, grandmas get upset. Oh no. Everybody hates that. Gotta support organic farming, make it real and cheap, not just an upbeat brand, okay? Corporations and billionaires are moving their wealth to offshore tax havens, have a plan to stop them. I'm listening. All countries should automatically exchange tax information. Let's let's do it. Bosses can just call workers contractors and go get away with everything, bullshit or not. I call bullshit. Is the wealth tax constitutional? Some billionaires don't think so. Of course they don't. Presidential elections are here. Will you get a second term? Four more years. Four more years. You've been re-elected, but you lost seats in Congress. Okay. You are still in office, but with a slimmer majority, we, na we may not be able to pass some bills. Crazy idea, what if we taxed capital gains from stocks at the same rates as income? And we do not have enough power to do it, unfortunately. Switzerland is refusing to comply uh, to tax transparency agreements, kind of their hope is. We will sanction them, it worked last time. Budget item, aircraft carriers, no other country is more than two, we have 11, we'd like a 12th. How about no? That confederate statue controversy is blowing up again, what's our statement? Add a plaque or take it down. Um, we will take it down. And what should they erect instead? Abstract art or slave memorial? Uh oh, the rich are converting earned income into capital gains in order to pay less taxes. Tax them. You want good jobs, huh? Expand by American policies, tariffs, import quotas, all the works. Uh, sure, we'll buy American. You give us a few tax-exempt development zones, we'll start new business. Okay, everybody likes that. <laughs> the biggest tax haven is the US, let's help other countries investigate their citizens hiding wealth here. Okay. There's a lot of buzz around a startup that can teach former miners to code. Blam, instant middle class. Too many programmers will teach them. The people want to be taught code. People like bold ideas, let's start deporting all undocumented immigrants. No. Will you include dental and vision in our Medicare for all? Oh my, we'd, even, we'd be even better than Canada. Fortunately, I do not have enough Congress power to do that. Green New, Green New Deal is killing legacy industries, let's make sure workers aren't screwed over as usual. Uh... I'm listening. Give layoff fossil fuel workers five years of their full more salary. I'm gonna say sure because they like that. We have some new additions to the disposition matrix. Not an urgent matter, I'll leave it on the desk. What is the disposition matrix? Colloquially known as the kill list, enemies we ought to target with drones and such. Um, this sounds bad. Two million Americans are at risk of eviction. Give them tenant protections and support in court. Yes. Human race is doomed, but don't worry, the universe will go on without us. Crisis on Wall Street. Markets plunge, government regulators warned about risky leveraged lending. 
Yes, a handful of banks are solely responsible for this, but they are too big to fail bail them out. Mm. I'm saying no, I don't want to lose all my money. Well, this time we can take them over. Bank nationalization is actually rather common. We don't have enough power to do that this time. Why don't we simplify the income return and let taxpayers file online for free? Yes. Fossil fuel workers get priority job placement and green new deals? Yes. Farmers can't even fix their own tractors without breaking the law? Right to repair. China stopped recycling our plastic. We need to develop sustainable plastic alternatives like yesterday. Yeah, research. Darling, we can make healthcare completely free at the point of service. No bills, no co-payments, a dream. I wish I could. I don't have Congress power to do that. <laughs> budget item, black budget, it's a secret. What is that? Uh, tell me. CIA, NSA, secret wars, illegal detention centers, the sensitive, the embarrassing, the unpopular. Cut them. My friend, please don't go to the karaoke fundraiser for the fraternal order of police. Uh, okay. We're not gonna go. It would be a shame if medical research came to a halt because you killed all the healthcare industry's profits. It's already publicly funded, or here's a grant. They, they like the grant. Mm. But I feel like... Okay, we'll give them a grant, sure. Profile, he was a coal miner. He learned to code, but tech jobs aren't coming to Appalachia. Let's recognize non-binary identities. We had a third gender option in all government documents. Uh, or we could remove gender. Whatever, we'll do it. Well, since there are now, there are more than three genders, we are now having a heated debate over the official label. Non-binary or queer. They don't like it. They don't like either one. Our health plan could cover long-term care, mental health, and substance abuse. Wouldn't it be nice? I don't have enough control. Don Monsanto controls near about all seeds. Y'all have to reform patents because this ain't working. Yeah, reform. What if we rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement? It's not for real real, but it's a nice gesture. Um, how about we do it and also make it for real real? <laughs> Let's create an international support to fund the investigation of tax evaders. Uh, let's do it. We must impose complete transparency regarding off ownership of offshore companies. Nobody wants them to disclose, that's weird. It's weird that like the people want that to be rights, but like company rights, companies having rights is different than individuals having rights, that's weird. I'm gonna say make them disclose, I don't care if they don't like it. <laughs> Enough with vague retraining BS, if obsolete workers want to retrain, offer them free college education. Okay. Billionaires are unable to trade artworks in order to dodge taxes. The art world is doomed. Uh, sure. You can have money this time. OMG, nobody has ever given so much money to the arts. Dang, some hospitals depended on inflated prices to be profitable. Now they are shutting down. Poor things. I can't do anything about that. Companies can import meat and pass that as American. Uh, force labels. Cable from the Cayman Islands says money laundering is part of our heritage. Ugh. Okay, nobody wants us to embargo them. We won't this time. National cap on rent increases. Stomp those shitty landlords. Okay, we'll stomp them. Give legacy workers housing assistance. Some jobs just ain't coming back. Folks may have to move. Okay, housing. A wealth tax is dis dis incentivizing the rich from hoarding wealth. They are spending like crazy. Okay, it's the midterms again. Okay, we strengthen control of Congress. That's good. We're not doing very good on the greenhouse gases this time, though. We are overtaxing wealthy donors. Why do the people, the people want us to give them a tax cut? That's weird. Okay, I'll do it this time. It's curious how tax audits for the rich have been steadily declining. What if we increased them? How come the people don't want us to <laughs> do that? I'm gonna say no. Dude, private health insurances are going out of business. You better invest in workers retraining. Okay. Uh, I'd rather give everything to the opera than fund this government. 
Some Democrats are joining for the Republicans in a call for moderation and fiscal responsibility. Well, if you let me tax them, <laughs> we can fund militia in neighboring countries. No. Carbon tax. I think we're going to lose this time because uh, we, we can't pass anything. Classic nuclear. Stop the construction. Okay. A single payer. We were able to negotiate better prices with healthcare providers and big pharma. Okay. Is America ready to cover gender affirming medical procedures for trans people? They do not like that, but I'm doing it anyway. Cap and trade. We cap emissions, create a market for offsets and pollution permits, climate change fixed. Uh, sure. Hurricane Wilhelmina claims no victims, a tale of preparedness. Swiss banks increase transparency as a result of our pressure. Hidden funds are coming back home. Housing segregation belongs to our racist past. Home municipalities, inclusionary zoning, or no federal funds. Okay. Fake plant-based meat is damaging the cattle industry. Why? <laughs> we totally need to keep fossil fuels in the ground. Ban fracking, ban offshore drilling. Okay. People don't want us to ban that. I'm gonna say no, it has to be gradual. Yay, the expansion of Medicare is going well. You only have to allocate a little more budget. I don't, I can't pass it right now. And if I tax them, they're gonna get mad. Fracking industry collapse, those were well paid jobs. We could bring back a couple factories to the US, you just have to sweeten the deal. Okay. I sense a disturbance in the media. Some powerful people are plotting a smear campaign against us. Cap and trade didn't reduce air pollution in poor communities. Carbon negative green projects need to be local. Okay. We could tie immigration to employment status. No. Leaked email reveal the Democratic Party's dirty secrets. There are illegal immigrants interning for the government. Hmm. I'm gonna say this one because less people dislike it. What about all the private jet flights? Mm, I'm gonna say we have to travel. Are you apologizing to the offended sex worker? I'm gonna apologize. Carbon sinks are valuable assets under cap and trade, so forests are being enclosed and communities displaced. Not good. That is not good. Scandalgate is a distraction, we need to stop talking about it. A cap and trade scheme is giving polluters free emission permits. At least we could sell them, duh. Mm. Auction them. Judging by the scandal gate receipts, you seem awfully concerned for your personal safety. I'm gonna say I overindulged. Create a task force for graffiti and littering. It doesn't address crime, but it lowers the perception of crime. No, graffiti is art. But old miners ain't gonna learn code. Offer them a generous early retirement. Okay, we'll do it. I bet if politicians had to publish their tax returns, they'd be less inclined to use and defend tax havens. We can do this. Publishing our tax re returns made our base realize that we are, in fact, quite wealthy, and the people don't like that. I'm no fan of inspections, but Donald Skunk has lowered food standards, so let's raise them. Let's just pay Mexico to host the ref refugees from Latin America so we don't have to deal with them. What? Um, I'm gonna say clever, just to get a couple more people on our side. Unbelievable, it turns out when you legalize immigrants, they start paying taxes, okay? Solar panels on the White House. Yeah. They call us commies no matter what. Let's nationalize all the for-profit hospitals and be done with it. I don't have enough power to do that. We are at the end of your presidency. I admit I'm glad it's over. Change is so stressful. The working class is more organized and militant than ever. Yeah, we did good on the part on the people power, but uh, we barely made a dent in greenhouse gas emissions, so that's bad. But we do have a but a budget surplus again. That was good. End of simulation. There is um. 
I know there's an ending where we get assassinated. And I do kind of want to try to do that. Let's just do... Let's do one where we just make everybody really mad. Because <laughs> I, I do want to see the assassination ending. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is we're going to say political revolution immediately. Uh, humble. Okay. Uh, America was built on 200 years of slavery. The racial wealth gap keeps increasing. It's time for reparations. It won't pass right now. We need more Congress control. Confederate statue controversy is blowing up. What's our statement? Uh... Take it down. What should they erect instead? A slave memorial. Is it the Pope? No. Uh, happy holidays. Blockchain? No. Let's provide a swift pathway to citizenship for millions of undocumented immigrants. Sure. Okay, this time we're going to prioritize older houses too. Do that. Um, equal pay. Most re refugees are escaping war and natural disasters. Let's invest in foreign aid and re aid to reduce forced immigration. I think the quickest way to get assassinated is by like spending all the money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how. Uh, tackle the housing crisis. Yes. Okay, we're in deficit. Virtual border wall for dirt cheap. Drones, cameras, sensors. No. Tax the rich? Sure. Um, yeah, make it happen. Make it happen. We've done all these. Sharing economy. We can reduce car use by letting Uber do their thing. Mm. Disrupt Uber or regulate them. Uh, let's disrupt. Fifteen dollars, sure. To legalize pot. Okay, get them out of jail. Invest in the communities. Uh, regulate the marijuana business. Overturn the Muslim ban. Let's hear it. We cool the earth by spraying aerosols in the stratosphere, same as a couple of big volcanoes. I'm gonna say sure, because I just want to see what happens if we do that. Geoengineering can buy some years, but it won't fix capitalism. Motion to cancel student debt. Yeah. Cancel the debt. Okay. Fee on imported goods. Sure. Okay, let's do that. Examine. Cut it. Uh, defund. No, we're not going to do it this time. Reform the Supreme Court. Uh, we don't have the power to do that, but we can limit their tenure, so let's do that. Medicare for all. Okay. Single payer, let's do it. Befriend a billionaire? No. Uh, no, we're gonna say no. Revive NASA, here we go. Now we're spending the money. <laughs> Climate change is a threat. Instead of cutting a DOJ budget, we can shift some funding. Intriguing. Let's see what he has to say. Chiming in. Green programs are deeply unpopular among conservatives. We can try militaristic rebranding. Okay. Yeah, let's brainstorm. I'll start. Full spectrum renewable power. What does this mean? The war on carbon. Uh, strategic command for homeland transit. I 
I don't know what this means. Joint offensive. Joint offensive on plastic threats, clean air defense force, the possibilities are endless. Sure. Maybe we should tax the middle class a bit more, and by middle class, I mean everybody. They all hate it. Mm. See, if we keep the budget in the negative, they're not going to like it. But if we tax them, they're also not going to like it. <laughs> I'm going to say no. We're in deficit. Only Republicans are allowed to blow big holes in the budget. We are the responsible ones. I bet if politicians had to publish their tax returns, they'd be less inclined to defend tax havens. Yeah. Opioid epidemic, epidemic killed 400,000 Americans. We go after the corporations. Yes. All right, this is not gonna be good for the midterms because we're in deficit. And we lost seats. Okay. Calling for all foreign troops to leave. Yeah, sure. Leaving Iraq would jeopardize presence. Sure, let's withdraw. Donald Skunk, ICE and Customs and Border Protection have been acting like rogue detention agencies. It's kind of embarrassing. Let's abolish ICE. Maybe we can just let the Department of Justice handle deportations and border protection like before 9-11. Here we go. No, we don't need borders. We're making everybody upset. Sued opioid giant files for bankruptcy. Okay. What are you going to wear to tomorrow's rally? A t-shirt or a suit? Let's wear a t-shirt this time. We need to create a new agency, a power and marketing administration. Okay. Join the team. Break up the monopolies. Increase subsidies for residential solar panels. I'm gonna say no more subsidies. Nuclear arsenal modification, no. They say Columbus Day, we say, what is Saint Eustace Day? Indigenous Peoples Day. Look, some people deserve to be fired, but there should always be a just cause, federally mandated. Okay. Switzerland is refusing to comply, sanction them. Unfair. Endorse the leftists. Basketball. Okay. Our handsome buses run on diesel. They'd be much more attractive if they were electric. Mm. Alright, that makes the greenhouse gases go down. Have you thought about a gift to bring to the ambassador's swearing in ceremony? Uh, gun. <laughs> Outraged. Publicly funded elections. Voters supporting their candidates with tax paid democracy vouchers. I don't know what that means, but sure. Polls are clear we need a pet, cat, or dog. We'll go with cat again. 0.5% tax on every financial transaction. It was limit speculation, raise a lot of revenue. Okay. New study by the Friedman Free Market Institute the financial transaction tax is a tax on your savings. Nice economy you have there, be shame if something happened to it. Is that a threat? That's uh, my mandate. You said billionaires should not exist, literally. Support organic farming, okay. Wind turbines, sure. Explosive growth of leverage lending. Okay, this is a loan thing again. We're still subsidizing oil, isn't it so 20th century? Stop the subsidies. Bullshit. Okay. Uh, no. Go sun. Mm. I'm gonna say no. Okay. We're losing seats. It's not gonna pass. We are printing money like the Weimar Republic here. Huh? Would you try to contain the deficit, please? What do you mean? We just went into not deficit. Please don't go to the karaoke fenders before the police. Okay. Okay. 
Are we gonna make it? I don't think so. Okay, it stayed the same. Uh, we don't have... We don't have the ability to do reparations right now. It's already publicly funded. Make them disclose. IRS of the world unite. More jobs. No. Energy storage, okay. Fund bird sanctuaries. Uh, we don't have enough power to do that. Let's negotiate. Whew, sounds reasonable. I almost sent the cops in. Socialize Amazon. Seize the means. Okay, we can't do that. Right to repair. Embargo. Opening the southern border has increased drugs and human trafficking. We should tighten controls. Um, um, fair enough. Okay, we'll fund that. His job was to put children in cages. Now former ICE agent struggles to start a new life. Oh no. Increase tax audits. We don't have enough power to tax the rich right now. Reform. We don't have enough power to increase that. We don't have enough power for any of that. Your stratospheric aerosol injection violates uh, every international treaty and convention. Uh, okay. You know we could raise taxes on corporations? Yeah. No deal. We don't have power to tax the rich. Our wealth tax is incentivizing the rich from hoarding wealth. They're spending like crazy. Support. Worth the cost. Fund them. I'm listening. I'm gonna say no this time. Call the EU. We'll fly less. Love the IRS. Spending for Secret Service. Uh, I'm gonna say wasteful. <laughs> and then we can get killed. Profile of a dapper Nazi, economic anxiety, and radical reforms are making the far right cool again. See, so even if our policies, like, even if most of the people like the policies, the extreme people get mad at the budget deficit, which is like, you know, a made-up thing, like... <laughs> Midterm elections are here. How's it going? We strengthen control of Congress, okay. Close the loopholes. Communism is complex. How should we get to the parade? Armored SUV or public transport? Here we go. <laughs> President assassinated. Gunman screams Heil Hitler before shooting. The motive is unknown. Hmm. Unknown motive. We got assassinated. But look at that. We did so good. Game over. You have been assassinated. You should be flattered. It happens to the best American leaders. I mean, yeah. We almost completely eliminated our greenhouse gases that time. And we still did a good job of giving power to the people. And we weren't even in a deficit at that point. That's good. Okay. It's just those, like, handful of people that are, like, crazy. Okay. I think I'm going to stop there today. Thank you for joining me. This was fun. Uh, I need to learn more about international politics and things like that. Because I don't know half... I don't know some of this stuff. I don't know what all of this stuff means. But anyways, thank you for coming. That was fun. We got assassinated. Okay, bye.